guys, it's Ashley, and today we're going to be doing my December wrap-up and January TBR. So I've actually been kind of thinking, should I just do wrap-ups from now on? When I first started this channel and I did TBRs, I would stick to them consistently, but toward the end of the year, my TBRs had almost nothing to do with the books that I was actually reading in that month, if I was reading any at all. So I'm trying to decide, should I just stop doing TBRs and just tell you guys what I read and what I liked about the book and everything like that? Or should I keep doing like these consistent TBR wrap-ups combined into one? So please let me know what your preference is because I really don't care either way. As long as you guys are okay with me giving a TBR and maybe not sticking to it all the time for the future reference, just let me know. So anyways, December was a really good reading month for me. I read three books, I kicked No Book November in the ass, and I actually completed my Goodreads reading challenge of 30 books. I am so so happy to show you guys what I read and talk about them with you, so let's just go ahead and get started. So the first book that I read in December and actually finished, finally, was Magnus Chase and the Hammer of Thor. This is book two in the Gods of Asgard series, and this book was so good. I don't think that this series is perhaps as great as the Heroes of Olympus series or the Percy Jackson series in general. It might just be that I like those characters more. I really, really love what he's doing with the story and I love how he's intertwining the two stories and making everybody come together and it's amazing. But I have to say, I probably prefer the Percy series more than over the Magnus series. I still gave this book five stars though because it was so funny and so so great. I was extremely ecstatic about the end and I will have a book talk up for this soon, I promise. The next book that I read was Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy by Cassandra Clare and Friends. This book obviously got five stars for me. Everything by Cassandra Clare ends up getting five stars. It isn't just because it was written by Cassandra Clare that it automatically gets five stars, guys. I just really, really love these books and I love the story and the characters. If you haven't read Up to City of Heavenly Fire, you don't want to hear this. Mute it until I put the book down. This book is basically about science after the events of City of Heavenly Fire when he loses all his memories and he decides to ascend to become a shadow hunter and it is just amazing and it's like 12 short stories filled with nothing but him at the Shadow Hunter Academy. Every single chapter is either a flashback to something that we know and love or characters come in that we love. Izzy, Jace, Clary, uh, Helen Blackthorne, uh, Jules and Emma. Tessa comes back in. We get a flashback with Will and Jem and their kids. We get James Herondale, who's Will's son. It's just amazing and I loved this so, so much. Oh my goodness, okay. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> and the final book that I read in December to wrap up my reading challenge was The Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, original screenplay by J.K. Rowling. I figured this book wouldn't take me that long to read. It's pretty short and it's a screenplay so I could get through it really fast just like I would a graphic novel. And I did. And I finished it like a couple days before December was over and I was so happy. I definitely, definitely recommend this. If you loved the movie or want to know more about the movie, it's so, so good. So those were the three books that I read in December. Really happy with everything that I read and I'm super excited for what I'm gonna get into in my January TBR, so let's just go ahead. Out of these five books, I have fully read one and I'm in the process of reading two and for the other two I haven't started yet, but just keep it in mind, okay? So the first book that I had planned and have actually already finished in January is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. This got five stars from me. It was so good. Um, I'm still counting it in my TBR because I did read it in January, but it was so good, you guys. I know that everybody is so hyped about this series and has been raving about this series from the moment it came out, especially Akamath, not just Akatar, but I still don't fully understand the resand hype and the resand obsession that everybody seems to have. It's probably because I haven't gotten into Akamath yet and once I will I'm probably gonna be complete resand trash but I mean as of right now I like Tamlin better from this book at least so I'm really interested to see how everything changes in the second book. The next book that I'm planning on reading and am currently in the process of reading actually is Wayfarer by Alexandra Bracken. This was not one that I had actually planned on reading previously before this video, but as soon as I picked it up at Barnes and Noble and put it in my hands, I was like, there is no way you are not going to read this this month. You have been waiting for it for over six months now, so you're gonna pick it up and you're gonna finish the duology. And so I'm about 150 pages in right now. It is really, really good. And I'm so happy I picked it up and I should be done with it soon. So the next book that I have planned to read that I have not actually start yet is Of Fire and Stars by Audrey Colthurst. This was the December Owlcrate book 
box of the box, you know what I mean. I received it in the December out crate is what I'm trying to say. I'm so, so excited to get into this book. It sounds so amazing. It's basically about like a bisexual main character, I think, in this fantasy kingdom. And I'm so excited. So excited. Now the next book that I want to read this month that I haven't actually started yet is The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon. So many people have been raving about this book and I cannot wait to jump into it. It hits some hard points that we need to be talking about and the story just sounds so interesting and I have yet to read a contemporary book since I started this channel so I figure it's a new year. I should probably start now. The most that I've heard about this book is that it is about a main character whose family is about to be deported to Jamaica and she falls in love with a boy, I'm assuming, or she meets a boy and everything just happens after that and it sounds really interesting and it's been getting a lot of good reviews and I cannot wait to get into it. And so the final book that I'm actually reading this month, I have already started, no surprise. That is actually The City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. This is book one in the Mortal Instruments series. If you're watching my channel and you don't know that, where have you been? I have six copies of this book, this one single book, and I decide to hold up the most battered, broken spine book I have. Go figure. Like I said in my reading resolutions video, I really want to make an effort to try to reread the series this year. I actually tried starting to read this book this year on audiobook and I realized about 150 pages into the book that audiobooks are just not for me. I get really bad headaches when I'm listening to audiobooks and I don't want to just sit there and listen to somebody read me the book so I'm just gonna go ahead and just physically read them again which I'm so excited about. Now there's one other thing that I wanted to mention slash announce with this book. Amber over at Reading Infinitely and I'll leave her channel and the rest of these people that I'm gonna mention down below. She actually started a group chat on Twitter with a bunch of different people and asked if we wanted to do like a Mortal Instruments read-along with like possible live shows occasionally, either every month or every two months or something like that. And I immediately said, hell yeah, I'm in. So I'm gonna be a part of that. I have no idea what we're doing. It's a pretty casual thing. There's no like YouTube page or Twitter page revolved around it. There's probably not gonna be any sprints. The goal is just one book a month in the series in publication order, so that includes the Infernal Devices. I'll just give you more information as the time goes on. Read it at your own pace if you don't finish it within the month. It's no big deal. Nobody's gonna penalize you for it. So, I mean, if any of you wanna join us, just let me know because I'm really interested to see how many people want to actually reread the series with us. I'll leave all of the people that I know were in the group chat down below. If you wanted to see if they had posted anything, I know that a couple people said that they were going to include a little announcement in their TBR video, which is what I'm doing now. So if you want to go check that out, you can, and I'll give you more information when I have it. And so that's actually going to be everything for my December wrap up and January TBR. <laughs> for two months this is this is a lot of books and i'm pretty psyched i am so excited to be getting into books that i honestly hadn't been expecting to read but suddenly just decided to pick up i know that recently i've gained a whole bunch more subscribers than i used to have so i just wanted to say before this video ends hi and thank you so much for watching and subscribing and liking and everything that you guys do and especially commenting and talking to me i love talking to you guys and i'm so excited for what the new year brings and everything that i'm planning on doing if any of you want to follow me on social media and say hi to me there because I'm probably more active on there immediately than I am replying to your comments right now. All of my links are in the description below. I am Adash of Ash 12. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you later. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>